Those who love or those who understand the Quran, they love the recitation of the Quran because they know what it means. They are moved by it. Those who don't understand it and don't want to understand it, they become tired when the Imam takes 45 seconds more in the unit of Salah. 45 seconds more. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us. We are worried about seconds and minutes. I promise you the amount of people who look at their clocks when it comes to Salah, Taraweeh in Ramadan is unbelievable. I think we should be having a notice on every masjid door to say, like you remove your shoes, leave your watches outside. No time must be told inside this masjid. That's it. We would enjoy our prayer much more. Leave your watch at home. Don't look at the time. This is Allah. But a lot of us time. I remember reading Salah. And I remember clearly there was a man next to me. And every little while he looks at his clock. And he's shaking his head. And I'm thinking what's going on? You in Salah. The Imam is reading. You're looking at your clock and shaking your head. Instead of Abdullah, you've become Abdul clock. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us. There are many Abdul clocks that appear in Ramadan. We're worshipping the clock every little while. Look at it, look at it. Yes, if there is something really wrong, like you know, for example, the Imam starts reading a long surah and he just doesn't end. Maybe you might want to raise the issue to say, you know, mashallah, you read very well, alhamdulillah. Or you want to raise it with someone to say, I think it was a little bit long because there are some old people, there are some children, there are some this and that, whatever, but in a nice way. But if for every small thing, you see there is a hadith that says the imam must be considerate of the elderly. That does not mean he must read alif, ba, ta, tha and go down. No. Some people think because the Prophet says, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, the Imam must be considerate. So every rak'ah must be, Inna atayna kal kawthar, fasalli li rabbika walha, Inna shani'a ka huwa al-abtar, Allahu Akbar, because I'm considerate of the old people I'm reading, Inna atayna. No. That is a wrong interpretation. Look at the sunnah recitations, the sunnah recitals of all the salah. Fajr is meant to be slightly longer. Dhuhr is meant to be a long salah. Maghrib is a short salah. Isha is a slightly longer salah. Which means if you cannot cope because you are old, get a chair and sit. But do not let people cut down on the sunnah. I hope we've understood the meaning here. People misinterpret it. Some scholars also misinterpret it. They say, brother, you're reading too long. Brother, I'm reading the sunnah. This is the sunnah recitation. I'm supposed to be reading these surahs or this length in salah. And in Taraweeh, for example, well, let's talk about Salah and Farad first. So if you want me to, if I'm going beyond the Sunnah, you can encourage me to cut to the Sunnah. But if you want me to read Inna Atayna every single Salah, then trust me, that is not what is meant by the Hadith, which says, take into consideration the elderly and the women and the children and so on, and the sickly. May Allah forgive us.